the noise, folks. What an occasion. Chelsea versus Tottenham. It doesn't need the hype and the fireworks. It doesn't need subplots. It's got both today on top of everything that usually comes with it. Most importantly, of course, it has this season's first piece of silverware riding on it. Nearly 90,000 partisan folk are here at Wembley to watch the Capital One Cup final. That ball's got all the way through to Ivanovic. Oh, that's a good-looking cross. And just about Hugo Lloris got there, but only just. Takes, I think it takes a wicked deflection. And then just scrambles it wide for corner. Which comes in now and does find Ivanovic. You wouldn't bet against it, would you? Five in seven. He's absolutely prolific. That's, that's half a chance, that. He's gone, he's gone for the near post. If he goes across goal, there's better. There's no doubt about this. He's going for goal. It's a lovely distance. It's where you'd place it, probably. And off centre. Far enough out to get the dip. Either corner is an option. He'll be looking at where better check is. Can't miss him. Tall bloke, all in orange. Here comes Christian Eriksen. Oh, it's very good. It had check beaten this off the woodwork. And the follow-up is a wild slash. And Chelsea ride their luck a little bit. Gets it up, gets it down. Hits the crossbar. Can William whip something in onto a teammate's head? Oh, it's flicked on, it's hit. Zuma, oh, it must be, it is! And look who scored it! It's John Terry in front of the Tottenham fans! And Chelsea strike first at Wembley! Well, he's had a fabulous first half, John Terry. Hasn't put a foot wrong. And the captain leader legend strikes first. Six yards outside the six-yard box, he drills it home. Just make sure you get a good contact on it. He does, and we're 1-0 up. Loris thought about coming, Ivanovic does not it back across. It nearly was a second Chelsea goal. Couldn't quite get enough power on it. Loris, to his credit, is over on that side. Well, Anthony Taylor's whistle has gone now. A first half. High on tension, but low on chances, really, Jason. We go in half-time, that all-important goal from, for my money, the best Chelsea player on the pitch. Chelsea leads Spurs at Wembley at half-time by a captain's goal to nil. Good first touch from William, who's been his usual busy, excellent self so far in this game. And that's a lovely ball, and this is danger. Hazard taking on the cropped walker, and Hazard does get the ball across. It somehow evaded everybody. Oh, it's a Chelsea throw in. You're looking for one of them, Costa or Ramirez, to make that run, that, that darting run in between the two centre half. Beautiful and sunny when the teams came out. Lights are on and the rain's falling now. There's the Zuma jump. Fabregas with the overhead. Goodness me, what an effort that was. Well, you Norris see... had an ace to watch it, Jason, but he still <laughs> took some saving. You could see exactly what Fabregas was lining up. It was almost in slow motion. He executed it beautifully. They're not looking tired here as the rain falls under the lights at Wembley. 1 0 up. With a lot of time to go. Here's Costa looking for that sniff of goal. Oh, deflection, and he's done it. Diego Costa's first Chelsea goal outside of the Premier League is a massive one at Wembley. Chelsea 2, Tottenham 0. He's taken on Carl Walker. Is it going goal? It's difficult to tell, in all honesty. But I tell you what I do know, it's 2-0. And we're on our way for the first piece of silverware this season. Found Hazard with real nonchalance there, and Hazard's curled it. We had a very nice angle on that. I think Loris had it. Ooh, ben, I don't know. Oh dear, it's difficult to tell from, but not quite enough bend on it. The first of how many this season? That's the big question. And Jose there. He's punching the air with some of the Chelsea fans. He knows it's job done. Yeah. 
And he deserves himself an enormous amount of credit for it, it Absolutely. has to be said. Absolutely. He did. And he solved it all right. Won it. Blue is the colour at Wembley again. It doesn't matter how many times Chelsea come here and win. It never gets boring. And it doesn't matter how often the Blues break Tottenham's hearts. That never gets boring either.